Hello everyone. Welcome back to X Machines channel. The issue of energy has never been more concerned than now. In the current energy sources, hydropower is accounting for an important role in total electricity production worldwide, annually hydropower accounts for about 19% of total electricity production. In order for us to better understand the process of generating electricity from hydroelectricity, in this video, X Machines will explore with you the process of forging shafts and manufacturing turbines, an important part that converts mechanical energy from water into electricity. Right now we're at KIMGB Foundry in Bucharest, Romania exploring the process of forging the first advanced turbine shaft for Wanapum Dam. Wanapum Dam is a run-of-the-river hydroelectric project located on the Columbia River downstream, south, from Vantage, Washington where Interstate 90 crosses the Columbia from Grant County into Kittitas County. It is owned by the Grant County Public Utility District, Grant PUD. The existing Kaplan-type turbines have been in place for over 40 years and were reaching the end of their useful machine life. Grant PUD proposed to replace the turbines with an advanced turbine design that would improve power output, increase efficiency, and include features to improve survival for fish passing through the turbines. Specific features for increasing development output from 895 MW MW to 1118 MW included a larger runner diameter, greater hydraulic capacity, and increased number of wicket gates. Design features believed to reduce adverse impacts to fish during turbine passage included reshaping the stay vanes, improved alignment and reduced size of wicket gates, and a spherical runner and discharge ring to eliminate gaps at the hub and discharge ring. In addition, the draft tube would be reshaped to improve hydraulic conditions and reduce recirculation and turbulence. A total of 10 turbines were replaced and correspondingly 10 turbine shafts were manufactured here. Each turbine will be manufactured using the same process. The production of turbine shafts is a very interesting process. It's a forging process and it involves a lot of heat, ginormous ovens, huge presses, cranes and pressure, lots of pressure on a huge hot chunk of steel. A 12,000-ton hydraulic forging machine was used to forge these turbine shafts. At the end of the forging process, the turbine shaft will be transferred to the machining workshop. Here CNC machines will perform smoothing of the crankshaft surface. Grant County PUD Mechanics installed the first of 10 advanced turbines at Wanapum Dam on November 28, 2004. The advanced hydropower turbine's runner has six blades and a spherical hub and discharge ring to virtually eliminate gaps at the hub and blade tips. It design reduces velocity gradients, shear, and the rate of change of pressure, both of which have been related to fish injury. Therefore, it is considered to be more friendly to the living environment of fish. In order to create rotation thanks to the power of water, the turbine shaft will be connected to the runner. Let's visit the factory of Global Hydro Company to learn the production process of Kaplan Runner. Designing and manufacturing the Kaplan turbine requires a lot of experience, the most important of which is the runner, it allows the turbine to adapt the fluctuations in water flow rates and different water. Global Hydro's experienced engineers have designed to optimize the turbines hydraulically and enable the best possible design of the overall.
The quality of the blade material is carefully checked to make sure that there are no flaws before being approved for further processing. The milling work can last up to 60 hours per Captain Blaze, bending on the material and the size of the turbine. Following the fine milling process the complete surface of each blade is polished by hand then the surface is checked and the results recorded in accordance with required standard. The turbine parts are assembled with the highest level of precision. Accuracy and reliability are given the highest priority. Here 3D measurements that perform to ensure precision assembly of the turbine and alignment of the blades. In the next part, we will visit the construction site of the Wasquatam project to explore the installation of the rotor, stator, and the runner of the turbine. Wasquatam is a 200 MW hydroelectric power generation station on the Burntwood River at Taskinigup Falls. It is located in the Nelson House Resource Management Area approximately 45 km southwest of Thompson and 35 km southeast of the Nelson House. The last of Wasquatam Generating Station's three turbine runners was lifted into place on November 14, 2011. Weighing nearly 150 tons, this runner is part of the Unit 2 turbine assembly. An extremely important application of forging technology in power generation is that it is used to produce the Water Water Energetic Reactor. The Water Water Energetic Reactor or VDR is a series of pressurized water reactor designs originally developed in the Soviet Union, and now Russia, by OKB Jidra Press. The name VDR is associated with a wide variety of reactor designs spanning from Generation I reactors to modern Generation 3 plus reactor designs. nozzle shell rings. They are the most complicated and important reactor vessel elements. The shell rings includes eight coolant inlet and outlet nozzles, for in each ring, of 850 mm nominal diameter, five emergency cork cooling system nozzles of 300 mm diameter and nozzle.
power output ranges from 70 to 1300 MW, with designs of up to 1700 MW in development. The VDR-1200 is an evolution of the previous version being offered for domestic and export use. The reactor design has been refined to optimize fuel efficiency. Specifications include a $1,200 per kW overnight construction cost, 54-month planned construction time, a 60-year design lifetime at 90% capacity factor. The VBR-1200 has a gross and net thermal efficiency of 37.5% and 34.8%. The VDR-1200 will produce 1,198 MW of power, 